Good morning. It's Monday. A little rainy, a little drizzly. Garden's getting watered, so that's fine. Um, I have my breakfast. I have a seltzer with that absolutely delicious tart cherry juice in it. I put about three, two to three ounces in there. It's whatever is left after you make the seltzer, which is right at the top over here. So maybe yeah, anywhere between two and three ounces. I have a banana and I'm trying this um, Kashi chocolate, almond, and sea salt chewy granola bar. It's 68 and I have shorts on. Yeah. It dawned on me that I was stopping myself from wearing clothes even around my own house. And that's, that's absolute silliness. I'm not wearing a bikini. I have everything covered. But why shouldn't I be comfortable even in my own house? And I don't know if it's um, Don's passing, which his funeral is today at one. <clears throat> I'm not. I will not be attending. The rest of my family is uh, will be there. I will um, visit each of the family members at another time. Uh, my own personal choice. I could have easily taken the time off of work. That's not an issue, and that was not the excuse. I. <clears throat> I have a hard time wrapping my brain around um, funeral services. Uh, the most recent one I went to was my Aunt Mary, and she passed away shortly after my best friend, Tony. And the gravesite, um, you know, the, just, it's very... It's challenging, and my heart goes out to anyone who's had to experience it. And once you reach a certain age, you will have lost someone very close to you, and um, you have to pay your uh, final respects. Sometimes that's a really big challenge for me. So I opted to show my respect in other ways. Hopefully that will um, not be received as offensive by the family, I'm sure they will understand. <clears throat> so, I've already been out to see the girls uh, collectively. Um, the chicks are fine, the chicken's not so thrilled with that. Um, um, their little pathway not being there. I mean, they jump up fine, obviously. They slept and there's still there's no eggs yet. So I have a couple of things I need to get done today. Um, I need to mail all of those cards, and which means I have to Google a couple of addresses because I can't. I didn't want to bother my sister and my brother-in-law to get addresses yesterday. They they've been visiting with his mom, and it's just it's a they're emotionally drained, both physically and emotionally. I think so. I just want to make sure that my like it's completely silly question doesn't really those things don't matter so um, that's what I need to do today and um, I want to finish the stainless microwave cart which I need to find a pair of um, soft grip um, pliers because one of the pieces I can't screw in by hand and then what else was it? oh and start on the kitchen cleanup I already started yesterday last night with a couple of bigger items like my soda stream all of that because that was near where the chicks were so I wanted to make sure that got taken care of immediately because that's what I've been really missing so I'll, I will share my progress with you throughout the day now today is Monday so that means it's meatless Monday I did ask Polly last night what he would like to have for dinner tonight um, last night he we had tuna fish sandwiches and in part thanks to Trisha I, I made him on that <clears throat> fabulous whole grain or the multi-grain bread that you brought us that was really really nice <clears throat> so your dinner in part was provided the our dinner in part was provided by you so thank you very much um, and uh, what else oh and um, giant bowl of fruit so I what I think I'm going to do is I'm just gonna eat fruit throughout the day uh, might make myself a salad because I know we have some lettuce and I picked up the lime flavored ponzu so I'm going to try my favorite dressing with that 
and I'm such a dinkleberry. We're at the grocery store yesterday. I walked down the aisle where the oils are and totally forgot to get the peanut oil. So if I'm feeling enthusiastic or I need a change of scenery or pace, I might run over and pick up some of that. And I can't, I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't try any of those um, funky desserts at um, from uh, Inner Produce, although their produce was horrible. Just there was... There was nothing redeeming about anything that they had. Um, the apples weren't any, you know, the apples were very shiny and new, but they were not organic. They were like way too shiny, that waxy coats. And all the greens looked sad. There was no kale. So that's why we ended up going to the grocery store and picking up the um, fruit there. So, and tomorrow we're going to have the salmon, which looks beautiful. So I might bake it in the oven. That way any leftovers, instead of being fried, they'll be, um, I can make, oh, I'm having too much seafood, aren't I? I need to make sure I don't trigger another bout of uh, my toe issue. So I'm going to enjoy my banana and the sea salt, the chocolate almond sea salt bar and finish the rest of my seltzer and I may make coffee, but as long as I have it before noon, I should be okay. All right, I'll check in with you guys throughout the day and show you, or at least tell you about the progress I'm making on the chick uh, chicken. Kitchen, what is wrong with me? I wonder if I have dyslexia and I just don't know it. Probably not. Okay, see you in a few. Okay, I ha I have to get this out of my system and then I'll get off my soapbox. So I, I live in a residential neighborhood. It's quiet, it's, you know, families, it's serene. We didn't get a lot of through traffic. All of which I appreciate, even more so since I work from home. So I'm here when most people are away from their houses working at their off-site work. The one thing that is obvious is um, when it hits spring and it's lawn cutting season, inevitably I hear lawn mowers running pretty much every day. But... There appears to be a neighbor who is retired, long retired, like 15, maybe 20 years. Well, at least over 12 years that we've lived here. Um, appears to mow his lawn just a little bit every day. And it's not like it's a giant lawn that he needs to parse out. It just seems like he's bored and he cuts the lawn pretty much every day. And I thought today there'd be a little bit of a respite because it's raining. And why would you cut the lawn in the rain? But no, I was wrong. It's raining and I hear the lawnmower. And there it goes. And it's not my lawn guy because he comes once a week on a Wednesday. No, it's that retired gentleman who apparently yeah, and it's not like it's a uber manicured lawn that looks like a golf course. Yeah, I think I just, I might be a little bit on edge, so it rubbed me the wrong way instantaneously. So, yeah, off my soapbox now, and I'm going to finish off my drink and make another fresh one. Yeah, what you're seeing is a giant bowl of salad. That's my lunch. Um, it's a head of romaine lettuce. It has an entire red pepper, or uh, one of the little um, baby English cucumbers right there, um, and some cauliflower, which I like the contra uh, contrasting textures. Um, my favorite ponzu dressing, nutritional yeast, um, the lime flavored ponzu this time, and um, sunflower oil, because I forgot to pick up um, peanut oil again. I like the peanut oil because it has that hint of nuttiness, um, that bit, little bit, and uh, black sesame. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to make another fresh seltzer, trying to stay hydrated. I have a meeting in a few minutes, so I want to get this. I want to eat, um, eat lunch before the meeting because I do need to talk at this particular one. So I will check in uh, later. Oh, and maybe share some of the progress of the kitchen because I got some stuff done Every time I walk out of my office and go to put something away, I kind of try to get a little something something done. That way it doesn't feel totally overwhelming. Like, I put away everything back underneath the sink from where I got the buckets out uh, for the clean out in the garage. So that's all done. 
cleaned a couple of surface areas. So yeah, slowly but surely, and I'm hoping to surprise Polly that by the time he gets home, the kitchen will be nice and cleaned up because he was getting a little overwhelmed too. Um, nobody likes to live with clutter, and when it's clutter in spaces that you use on a regular basis, it's even more overwhelming. So, all right, I'm going to off to enjoy lunch, and then I'll see you later. I might do my nails later on this afternoon, maybe tonight after work. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, does not look good. Yummy meatless Monday. Oh, I was going to make a couple of hard-boiled eggs, but it's just not going to work out. So I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is uh, boil uh, a dozen eggs, the oldest dozen that we have, because they'll be easier to peel, and then just keep the hard-boiled eggs on hand so I can grab one or two uh, as a snack or a breakfast or to add in salad. All right. Yum. Lunch. The salad did not stand a chance, and I ate it in just about a minute to spare before my meeting. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's a sign that it was not really overdressed. There's a tiny little bit of salad at the very bottom. Um, I probably could have dressed it even less. Uh, key to dressing salad effectively without overdressing it. There's nothing to me worse than biting into salad and having the dressing drip off of the leaves or the vegetables, or you end up wearing it, is to use a really big bowl. Bigger than you would think you need. Because, let's face it, we've all put stuff in a too small a bowl and tried to mix things. Whether it's dressing on salad or, uh, f you know, mix for something baking. We've all done it, so it's always, always, um take one size up if you're in doubt because then you don't have to get two things dirty because you you know you have to mix it so um I think maybe I'm just imagining this but I could have sworn there was some uh not that long well maybe it was long ago now 10 15 years ago somebody had either invented or one of those infomercials infomercials of a um salad mixing tool because really all you need is a bowl but it was a dome so it was a bowl and then another like another bowl on top of it so you could mix it by closing it and just shaking although it's not the same thing as having two bowls but yeah anyway a gad one of those gadgets that you definitely don't need unless you only eat salad or you eat salad that's very particular and that's what you want to do but hey there is a buyer out there for everything, isn't there? Speaking of useless tools, I have been, well, I had eyed a spiralizer, which turns um, cone-shaped or long um, vegetables into faux spaghetti. Like zucchini, yellow squash, cucumbers, um, some of the you know, longer um, sweet potatoes, and there there are several available, and I bought one, and I had promised that I would do um, a review of it. I hated it so much that I've put off doing a review of it, and I've tried it several times. Um, it, things broke while they were being spiralized, um, and this one came with a couple of blades. Now there's a handheld one that just looks like a giant vegetable pencil sharpener where it's cone shaped on both ends and it's like a barrel design with a cone shape on either end. One end where you put the vegetable in has the blade and it comes out of the other end. Easy peasy, right? I can't quite imagine why it needs to be $30, which is what that particular one is. And some of the cheaper ones have, or the knockoffs have, atrocious reviews so that's why I didn't go with one of those so the one I bought oh, I'm not thrilled with it maybe I just need to give it another chance so since I'm planting zucchini in the garden maybe I'll practice with that because I would love to have that added to my salad I thought zucchini would be fabulous with this dressing uh, particularly broken down sometimes zucchini is just you, zucchini needs when zucchini is raw it could be it should be eaten in smaller um, thicknesses, like the thinner it is, the better it is, like shredded or spiralized. Actually, uh, Trisha and I went out to lunch last week, um, and on the salad buffet, on the salad bar, they had zucchini, and the zucchini was 
some of it was like half an inch, three quarter of an inch thick. And I thought about, I'm like, whoever is slicing this in the kitchen has no idea and has never tasted a raw zucchini because it could be quite appalling on your taste buds, particularly the, like the grating texture it has against your tongue. It's just not pleasant. It's kind of like an unripened persimmon tastes like cotton balls. <laughs> At least it does to me. Or at least what I would think cotton balls taste like. Just really unpleasant. So, alright. I have total randomness and I just kind of chattered on for almost five minutes. So I'm going to go check the chickens. Um, I'll bring you with me. Hi, girls. I brought them trimmings for my salad. You want some salad greens? Oh, sorry, I need to throw it on your head. Oh, Nana must be in the nest. I put that on for a weight on top. Oh, you dropped your... There you go. Laying an egg. Hi, chickies. Hey, Moz. Come here, Mosey. Come here. Hi, Moses. She like, do I want to come out? No, I don't want you to come out. <laughs> the chickens are eating their greens. And there's the chicks. I got one brown egg. And there's Mosey. Love the fact that they drink out of their water bottle because this way there's no spoiled water all over the place. Hey, don't be fighting. There's no fighting. You all get along. Stop raining, but it's still overcast. Hi, Moe. Hi, honey. Hi. 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 Oh, hello, sweetie. Do you want to go? Do you want to get a snack? Are you hungry? Do you want foodies? Do you want foodies? I'll go give you a treat. I saved a cucumber piece for him. I was starting to get worried that I hadn't received my Stamps of Life stamps and die set uh, for the month because today's the 9th already. But here it is today. So that's the stamp set. It is called Hot for Balloons. It has Up, Up and Away, Here's to a Great Day, Floating By to Say, miss you a outline of a balloon heart interior fill hello a chevron interior fill hi hottie hi you send my heart soaring hope you're soaring soon sorry to hear you're feeling down and a cute little balloon and some stars and then this is the die set it includes two hot air balloons each size the interior of the hot air balloon the hottest the biggest air balloon three clouds and a little sun so in here they've started including little sample cards which is really cute shows you what you get in the stamp set and in the die set along with a sample on the front and two samples on the back so and um, there was a bonus storage sheet for the stamps and our dies and um, I'm kind of tempted to use these for like a faux pocket project life just to try it out because I'm not sure whether I'm gonna like that or not way of crafting so let me show you what I made for dinner Polly came home um, he wasn't feeling good so he went up to bed and I made myself um, some kamut salad which is the grain wheat for meatless Monday with artichoke hearts 
some of my um, favorite salad dressing that I make and cucumbers, baby uh, European cukes and some cured olives. And now I'm going to cut up the rest of the watermelon and enjoy that while um, replying to emails and comments and editing. Here's what my leftovers look like. I ate right out of this container because I knew the rest was going to be lunch for tomorrow. Now in the dressing, since I had to mix up a new batch, I added some dill weed, so that's what the little specks that you see. Moses helped me with the cucumbers. <laughs> so cute. And the artichoke hearts added a little bit of sweetness. So I'm going to cut up some watermelon and maybe my favorite mango because I really need something refreshing. This was nice and hearty, but and very filling but now I want something um, juicy and cool watermelon all cut up um, I think I have a couple more things to do in the kitchen and then I can call it a night or at least go relax mm. juicy sweet cold refreshing satisfying catch most good boy I want to see that again? Let's see if I can find him a nice piece. Oh, you dropped it, poops. Here. Ready? Good boy. So, there's my cart, still leaning on its side. <clears throat> yeah, and this is a lot of stuff that we found in the garage that needs to go in the basement, so I have to take care of that tomorrow. I think what I'm going to do is wash my hands do the dishes after dinner and go and enjoy this watermelon actually I think first I'm going to make I think I'm going to first make a little bit of banana ice cream with this peach that needs to be peeled and used so instead of water I'm going to use peach juice and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute well, I only had <laughs> maybe a banana and a half frozen so I made a very tiny little bit, so I, um, one peach, well, it was actually more like half a peach because it was kind of going south, I had to cut that off, and uh, one tablespoon of this peach uh, nectar juice. So I'm going to pop this in the freezer, actually, because it's a little loose, and uh, I might see if Polly wants some because he hasn't had anything to eat since he came home. But in the meantime, I'm going to go enjoy my watermelon and, uh, well, throw the garbage out and then enjoy my watermelon. All right, maybe try and fix that shop, that microwave cart. <laughs> I always have so many things that I want to do. It feels like, like there's never enough time in the evenings to get things done. So um, first I'll clean up what I need to do and then I'll go enjoy my watermelon. <laughs> 